Hi guys, so today um, I have something that I've, I received a little while ago. It's the We Are Memory Keepers um, auto ship, right, from HSN. Whenever the uh, freestyle came out, the foil quill or quill foil freestyle, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so I haven't tried it yet, and I did open it just to see what it was in here, because um, recently I was like, what is this? But I do have the receipt with it still. Um, it may be going back, I don't know. We'll see about the value, because with the tax and the pricing and everything, it's $19.95, $3.50 shipping, $1.55 tax is 25 bucks. And I know at Tuesday morning they always have like foil, quill, quill, foil, whatever. I always want to call it the wrong thing. What does this say? Foil quill. Uh, freestyle or just foil quills themselves that you use with your um, um, USB or whatever it is through your, um, what's it called? Cricut and stuff. But this is for the freestyle. Um, so that's where it came. And I think it came in like October. Let me see. Maybe November. November 17th. So it's been a while. I haven't tried it, but I'm curious to try it because I'm running out of time to return things to HSN that were ordered October 1st until now, right? So they give you an extended holiday period. So let's see what's in here. Actually, before I do that, I am going to choose a pen to plug in. I still have them in the box, the original box. Um, I think I'll use the mid, the middle thickness one. And then I'm probably gonna try to monogram or use the item on my uh, diary, that Daphne's diary. I don't know what else to do with it. So let me plug this in. So I already showed you guys on the initial um, review of this. Hopefully I have enough length. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. I might have to bring this up a little higher, but I'm gonna leave it here. Let me adjust something real quick because you guys aren't gonna be able to see it. Oh, I have a ton of paper that fell on top of here. So that adds to that. <laughs> I'm trying to, okay, I think that should be, yeah. So hopefully you can see the little light is on, so it's heating up. I have a plug way back there that I plug a bunch of stuff in, because either it's going to be way behind me or to the left of me or, well, that's in front of me actually, but, uh, or back here, because that's where the plugs are. My table's right in the middle of the room, so it's kind of hard for me to um, get things going. So uh, that's fine. Um, I showed you guys initially on the initial video of this of, of the plug that I use. It's from Amazon. It has like a couple of plugs, but it has like four USB ports and that's what I use because I just plug that into the USB part and I'm good to go. So the kit comes with, um, you know, a ton of just blank circles. <laughs> Maybe we can cut these out pretty easily. Um, I don't know if these are just squares or cards. Let's see. Okay, they're blank cards. Envelopes to go along with those new foil and I think they're supposed to have different colors with the season or as the time goes here. Let me see Again, this was still fall right when this came out, but there's gold there And it usually tells you with the little insert. We have gold and I see silver. There should be four or five different colors I see like a bronzy man eh, almost like a What's that word like a reddish gold? I think those are the same there might be another one in here, because I think there's usually four colors, but I can't see. Maybe behind silver, there's something else I'm not seeing. Yeah, there you go. There's like a lighter, pale or gold. I don't know if you can see, this one's a little more bright. That one's a little more pale than the silver and then that bronzy looking one. So I did a video, and I don't know, I guess a few people watched it, <laughs> of printing out your own little designs that you might find online or even just um, the ones that you can get in their kits, the USB kits where it comes with like some papers and they're really cute and well packaged. They're nice from our memory keepers. But um, I just uh, printed them out instead of importing them to my uh, Cricut. And then you can just use your foil. You see, you have your template, you have your foil, you have another piece of paper, whatever you want to trim on and then, or write on, trim on. And then um, you just go over and you do the same thing. So that's what these are. Uh, and I just said they're reusable. It feels just like paper to me. It feels like printer paper, just like I showed you guys how to do um, another time. I will have those in the description box, the links, or something like that. Or in the um, end cap, the end screen video suggestions. And then what I, the reason I would like to keep it is because it comes with these stencils. And I love stencils, but it's 25 bucks, right? The way I see it, the other things is like, eh. Other than the foil, I guess the foil's still good. You know, I moved this, but maybe I should put it back here. I don't know. So it has a cute little frame. It has this other frame you can follow. Some like little flourishes and stuff on this one. 
Now, I think I already have these. If you guys remember, I think on Tuesday morning, I had seen that they had these for like two or three bucks. They're just, what was that? <laughs> Something fell in the other room. Um, they're just uh, stencils. And I don't know. Oh, you know what? I think they made a, no, I don't know. I was gonna say maybe they made a boo-boo, but no. These look exactly the same, but this is more narrow than this one. I don't know if you can see, like if I match up this C, you can see it goes out further than the other one. So these are two different stencils. One's thicker, one's more narrow. And then these are smaller. Again, just um, uppercase letters, all of them. And I guess these are even more narrow. So I don't think these are different in size. They're just more narrow, right? One's wider, one's narrow. This one also looks the same. Like they're the same size, but this one's more narrow. And then you have that one, all uppercase. And then there's that little sheet that tells you kind of what's in there. So. What I was gonna do is maybe on my little journal here, since I don't know what to do with this journal, I've been trying to use it every day, but I was gonna put an eight, like initials here, but then I like the way it just says diary, I don't know. So maybe I'll just, uh, oh, this diary belongs to, and I can write my name, but maybe here I will just do some stenciling. I don't know, my initials. So let me see which one. I'll use the more narrow one. I don't know. This is weird. I wonder if you can use the chisel one or if I'm gonna outline them. We will see. All right, so I'm gonna <laughs> put this here. I'm gonna try to stay in frame for you guys, but I am putting it way down over here. I guess you could also, no, you can't do that. You have to just use this. Okay. Now let me see about, I was gonna say, I guess you could also trace it with a pencil then do this, but no, you have to basically go right in it. I'm just gonna use this gold sheet. Oh my goodness, you know what? I don't want to do this, but I'm going to fold it over so it stays in here so you guys can see it better. Oy, and this is the other thing that's kind of a pain. I have to line this up. <laughs> Pretty much eyeballing it. The lines here do help out a little bit. Right? These black lines. So, I guess I should tape it maybe, but it's kind of awkward. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to start pushing down, just following the contours of the stencil. And then I'm gonna follow the whole thing, right? Cause it does look like you should fill it in. And I guess you could if you wanted to. I'm just gonna do the outline and see what happens. Mm. I don't know. I almost feel like I should color it in, but let's see. Can you see that? It's very fine. It's a little something. Not hard to use. Again, it's pretty easy to use. I mean, it looks pretty rough. I think if I had done it by hand, I wouldn't. <laughs> it wouldn't even look this rough. I think it'd look better. But let's go V. Oh my gosh. But you know what? I'm gonna leave that there just so I can kind of have an idea where the V was. And then A. Again, trying to line that up. Oh my goodness. So I'm just pushing against the very edge of the contour. Again, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to keep this. Like I said, I'm pretty sure we have these stencils. And I picked them up Tuesday morning, super cheap. There's A. I'm not even going to move this now at this point. So that will give you a tip. Don't move it until you're done. That way you can kind of see what you're doing better. And then L. Right here. Try to line that up. And again, if you just wanted to fill in, what I would do is outline and then just kind of go... <laughs> So it's all colored in. Um, people are asking about using different stencils. Maybe this is a good time. Ooh, I don't know if I have any. Um, I have a bunch of Dollar Tree stencils, but of course I'm looking right now. I'm like, where are they? Let me take this off. But a lot of people were saying that they can use any stencil and it works pretty well. Um, the A is kind of sorry looking, but that's okay. It's a little stylized. The little stylized, a little different. V A L. V N A. Araceli Luna. Um, that's that's the name. That's the moniker. <laughs> so we have that, and let me see if maybe I can add a little something else as one of these other flourishes here. Mm, I don't know, maybe try one of the paper ones since I already did a video on that, but obviously not on this particular one because I don't have this until now. So capitalize ABD, again, you can print this out on your own computer. Um, hmm. Just gonna add like a little swirl maybe over here, but no, uh, those are. Let's just do with something a little fancy here, and I'll do it sideways. 
And I'm usually always trying to preserve. So this one's harder to tell what's going on. I guess you can cut it up in pieces too so you can kind of have an idea. I feel like that's straight. Okay. Take this guy. I'm going to fall start one side. Again, I taped it down in the last video. And as you keep going, if you really look at the paper, they'll, it'll start getting a little bit shiny. So you know if you went over one area or not. Ooh, I went off the pocket. Um, you'll, you know, especially with designs like this guy, you're like, ah, oh, where'd I leave off if something happens? Or if you just pick up your pencil or your pen, your quill, and aren't sure where you came off of, um, I'll show you that, what I mean by now. Ah, I messed up that last part. I went off the edge a little bit, but there we go. That did not work at all. <laughs> Do you see that? I don't know what happened. It's still on. It's still on. Ugh, what a bummer. Let me try it again. Maybe I have to do it more slowly. Ooh, I don't like that they got kind of thrashed there. Maybe this paper is thicker than the printer paper, but I didn't have a problem with this last time. So what I was trying to show you is like, as you're working with it, you can kind of see where you already went over. It looks shiny, like right there. So you already know that you went over it with your pen. But let me try that again, and I'm gonna go slower, <laughs> even though I think that was pretty slow. Here we go. The pen is still on, so it wasn't the heat. Actually, I can touch it right now. The very tip, I can feel it's pretty warm. Let's see what happens. Um, and then I think the following ones are basically just going to be more paper and foil. So if that's interesting to you. Other than that, I don't know that they all come with stencils. Actually, maybe I'm getting confused with somebody else's auto ship. But anyway, ooh. Yep, again, pretty junky. All right, well, I don't know what happened because with this part, it worked out okay. On this part, it is not working so well. So maybe the paper, it doesn't feel any thicker, but I'm having a problem with it. Let me try one of these stencils. Now that this is all junked out, I'll put like a sticker or something over that. Cover it up. All right, let's try it again. Again, always the color facing up towards you because when you press down, that's what's going to stick. Um, I don't even know. I guess I'm just going to do this one here. Let's see what happens. I can already see that the foil is reacting like it does. Um, it's moving around a lot, but usually you want to tape down your foil. I'm just kind of being a little bit... A little bit fly by the seat of my pants right now. Let's see. Um, hopefully you can kind of see that that was better, but just barely. Ooh, how ugly. Well, since I've already destroyed that, let me do again and then fill it in or something. Well, let's see. No, I can't really tell where I put it. Let's see if I can copy over the lines. I can fill it in. Oh, this is so annoying. I have a lot of trouble with these things, guys. Okay, let's just say um, that was <laughs> something I just traced, okay? I just made a circle. I want to fill it in and see what it looks like, if it looks horrible or what. So I'm just going to go side to side, side to side, side to side. Try to make sure I'm hitting every part of it. That's pretty good. Maybe go up and down even, just to see if you can make a solid area. Yep, not too bad. I mean, obviously you can see the pen marks, but that's not bad. All right, guys. Well, I think this is going back, but I do want to try it out for you all and uh, let me know what you think or if you've been using your foil quill freestyle. I know I ordered the actual <laughs> foil quills because I was like, I'll just get them from the Cricut, which is like buried deep in my... Okay, you know my craft room is huge, but, or I don't know if it's huge, but it has a lot of stuff. And so my crickets are all in the closet that's next to right here. It's like a, under the stairs closet. And I never dig for it. Like, I, don't, I haven't used it, like I said, in at least over a year. Since I've been here a year, I haven't used it. And it was a long time before that. I think the last time I really would use it was when I was still doing my Close to My Heart. And, um, and I was able to kind of uh, use it for different cards and things with the um, art philosophy cartridges and stuff. But... Oh well. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I will see you at the next one. Bye now.